Welcome to Tech Guru Technology. My name is Imran Khan, and in this session, you will learn about the function index and the function match, and we'll also learn about the function, the combination of two function, right? The function index and the match, and the combination of two function index match. Actually, index match is very much similar. You no. Know, the output of that function is very much similar with VLOOKUP formula, right? So we'll also discuss about the differences between VLOOKUP and index match. So let me start. Goes. So let me start. Okay. Let me open my Excel sheet. Okay. So now uh, what we are going to use first. I'll demonstrate the use of index, right? So let me use. So I'm typing index. Enter, type. So you'll see there are two kind of formulas here. In a half, you'll find out index array, row number, column number, right? The second one also index reference, row number, column number, area num however we'll discuss only index array row and column number actually we are using this no first one uh, first one with within a combination of match uh, to look up value you know from from data whatever we are doing in our view lookup we are doing similar kind of activities here with the index match the, then the question is that why we are using index match why we are not using the vlookup actually the answer is actually uh, the, the limitation of vlookup is that we cannot you know, get data from the left hand side of you know, a matched column for example if we are you know, finding out data Based, based on PF number. So see the column C, B, and column A. All column are left side of that PF number. So the main you know, limitation of VLOOKUP is that we cannot find data you know, left side column of the VLOOKUP. So, so for that, index match in index match you can find data either from the left hand, left hand side of the lookup or from the right right hand side of the lookup column right that means you can find data best salary also based on the pf number and you can find sex also based on the pf number let me show you first i'll show you the use of index what the formula work work so index right array so what we are finding out actually we are finding out base salary right so let me search out that particular array array is nothing but a column here in excel right array is a column single column it might be a combination of multiple columns so here base salary is column e right so i am just either select entire column or select the column which contain data okay i am selecting the column which contain data the next one comma asking the row number right so the pf number 22 is at which row number the count the row row number one at the row number one pf number the row number two, one one, and the row, row number three is two two. The PF number two two, right? So let me enter three. Three, and then let me enter zero column one because we are searching with the same column. We are not going to right side or left side of that column, particular column. That's why. I'm, I'm just putting zero here. So see, we are getting value 3000 here. If you see, 
the PF number 32, at, the, at that row, we have base salary of 3000, right? So we are getting value, right? But if, you know, it's not a dynamic one. So in order to make it dynamic, we are using ma using match fun function, right? So let me show you what that match function will do. Match, the lookup value is 22, okay? And the array, for match, we are using the same array, what kind of value we are looking for. So we are looking the PF number, Okay, comma, exact match, and zero. See, so we are getting column number, sorry, row number here, right? So, see, I have, I put three row number here, right? So if we use a combination of both formula, so we can get easily, right? We can get, uh, for example, let me copy this index. From here, put the same formula here. Okay, put same formula here. Mm -hmm. Let me copy again. Let me copy content only, otherwise, the value would change. I don't know. Um, Copy, paste that formula, okay. Now, because, see, uh, we didn't fix the row, just because of that, you know, uh, we're not getting exact result. So let me, you know, use formula again, copy, index, uh, look up, so array. So for array, we are searching out base salary as, as, as I said above. So reference to entire array here, comma. Now for the row number, I'm using match, right? So for row number, I'm using match, I said you. So for that, I'm just use match and I said go Go and look up the PF number 11. Where? In the PF number column, right? So I'm saying to the match function that please search out the row number where that the particular PF number lie. For example, in our case, the PF number 111 will, will be, no, lie in the row number 2. So, uh, Okay, now zero and zero again. I said that we are searching with we are no uh, searching data with the same column. That's why I'm putting zero here and enter. See, we are getting base salary. So that means index match is very much similar. No, with the with the VLOOKUP. The major difference is that. Now I can get sex also. You no, know, the left side value of a particular common or you no know, common lookup column also. Uh, let me do that. Index array. So go to the sex array. Array is to column C. Select it. Comma. Now match. So what Matt will do? Search out that PF number in that particular column and return the row number where that the PF number exists, right? Comma, zero, exact match. And we are searching out in a similar column. So we are putting zero here, right? Enter. Correct. So we are getting sex also, the male here. So that means our index match is working both sides of that, that particular column. I hope you like my video. Thanks for watching my video.
प्लीज सब्सक्राइब माई वीडियो थैंक यू सो